Good morning, Tux. Hi, buddy. Being a little more careful with that door. <laughs> Come here, bud. Come on. Let's lift you up. Oh, there you go. I tried to lift with one, do a one arm lift as careful as I could. There you go, buddy. There you go. Here comes Morris. I hear Morris coming. Hi. And a mart man. Let me go get the other bowl. Maybe we can thin out the crowd a bit. Thin out the crowd a bit. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. Yeah, yeah, no. He, I let him have a cup of coffee, and I then I set him to the 3D That's printer. Right. Got me busy. <laughs> mm. yeah. It's nice out here. It is. It feels a little cool. It's supposed to be less humid and cool by Sunday, Sunday and the second week in October. Not below normal temperatures, well below normal temperatures. Oh, wow. mm. So we'll see. Frost. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> he didn't say that. Okay, good. 40s and 50s. No, no frost. Hi. I love how you wait so patiently. I really do. Totally appreciate it. Trust. Well, first off, he ate a little bit in the house already. And then second off, He's no worry that his mom's not going to come out with more food. So I'm meeting Michelle today, and I'm out here hustling around pretty fast. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so cute. Checking fountains, replacing cat water. And I wanted to comment this morning that as pretty as this is, and that I'm enjoying watching the um, mockingbird come by and eat berries when I'm sitting with Gray. It smells like a brewery over here this morning. These berries, they ferment, and it smells like a brewery. Cool in the air, and peace and quiet this morning. It's quite enjoyable. I did hear a couple of um, acorns hit the uh, metal roof of the carport. And let me tell you, in the fall, it can sound like... Uh, I don't know, BB gun going off or something, but, oh, and over here are the Sasanqua camellia behind the candle lilies there. I see some pink flowers. Japonica blooms when Japonica feels like it here, and Sasanqua still blooms fairly consistently in the fall. I think this is going to look pretty with the tree above it gone now, that leaning holly tree that was there. It, it was really damaging the soft leaves of the um, camellia so uh, within a year I think that'll I mean it was already pretty and I think it will get even prettier hi gray good morning sweet pea good morning hi hi here you go Good morning. The car closest to me is a Fisker Ocean. I was going by it and I was trying to figure out what it was and I was like, I read the word ocean on the back tailgate and I'm like, ocean, Fisker, because the lighting and the darkness of the car, I can't see the solar panels or any other real details. But anyway, um, that's the first time we've seen a Fisker Ocean at South Park. And since we report on all the EV styles we see up here. I didn't want to leave out the fact that we saw an ocean today. Yeah. I've got the doors open over there and fans and Don and I had wondered if the air was out and when he went inside yesterday because of the dog issue, they confirmed that the air is out. It's been about a week now, I'd say. Well, you know, look at Guardian Angel over in Apex. They did everything they can to try to get the air back on over there and how to go buy portable units and so I'm picking up trash, obviously. The, uh, you know, I, I, I would say that getting building uh, air conditioning equipment repaired is a true issue in our vicinity based on what's happened at the high school two years in a row and uh, Guardian Angel and now the community center. So I know three businesses, three large well the school's not commercial but you know what i mean three non-residential 
buildings of substance that um, have lost AC and had it off for an extended period of time while they tried to make repairs to it. And I understand equipment goes down, but uh, it's kind of ridiculous. The school's unit was brand new. Oh my goodness, the number of fire ant mounds up here. I'm not kidding, I've seen at least 10. It's, um, it's kind of scary walking up here. I'm having to really pay attention. I need to ask David if his bites are okay or if they bothered him while he was sleeping, trying to sleep. My hand is still quite itchy where I have the one bite and thank God it was only one bite. I'm trying to, you know, while still picking up trash, I'm trying to watch out for myself at the same time. But I found that there's certainly stuff you can do to uh, rile them up and it's not too hard. But for me, I can just walk across the parking lot getting ruby at a, at a place like Walmart and still get stung. So, yeah. They are on the move right now. Don had to make a phone call for work, so he's not able to um, converse with me right now. I hate to throw it away and not recycle it. You know, when we pick up 50 cans on the side of the road, we get them to the recycle container instead of throwing them in the landfill. But I know for a fact we have recycle cans up here. And number one, people don't put re recyclables only in the cans. And then because of that, the town doesn't try to recycle the material in the cans. I believe it just gets thrown away. I, I'm pretty sure. And, you know, if it's filled with mostly garbage, I don't expect the guy that empties the trash to um, really separate it. Uh, first off, it wouldn't be safe because there's yellow jackets all over the trash. I mean, it really, it just wouldn't be safe for him. You got to get it, close it, dispose of it. They used to have... Um, recycling center here i don't know if the electronics got converted to converted from where the aluminum and glass and paper product you know was or if it was the other side or what but it used to be here and they closed it i'm actually praying that they don't close the electronics recycle even though they get things like mattresses and furniture dropped off there which is obviously not allowed because you and I, I think we all can say we know we've seen mattresses dumped along the side of the road. And I'd rather the town have to come up here once a week and haul it off than it be dumped on the side of the road. Just my opinion. It's pros and cons to every choice. Okay, there she is. She's got her Scooby-Doo purse. And she's got her Scooby-Doo shirt on. And bracelet. A Scooby-Doo bracelet. I helped and her. Haunted Mansion. Uh-huh. Uh, Necklace. Hocus Pocus. Necklace. Hocus Pocus. Wow. <laughs> I don't she's... have a Scooby Doo necklace. Yeah. Yeah. She's all ready for you, Miss Michelle. <laughs> Here you go, sweet pea. Thank you. I don't know what I would do without Dawn to help get me out the door. It's just a lot to come in from walking and need to leave ASAP. But I don't want to change up the walk time or the shopping time, so, and that's my choice, right? So I just make do with it. Um, I'm noting that Ruby only has 69 miles and that's because she was pretty low last night when we parked her or something and then she only had two hours to charge overnight because we're on the new fall winter do where the new time of use stuff went into effect and if I really want to charge my car at home on the discount rate I have to charge her in the middle of the afternoon I don't like this winter thing from Duke where they did that I don't like it at all 69 miles is obviously plenty to go up the guardian angel sit for three hours even run the air if i want to but i probably don't need to today and come home but still i was ready to leave the supercharger yesterday when we left we knew we had plenty to get home and um you know don and i were getting tired we were i had a window a little down don and i were getting tired we didn't want to even though we could have charged up Ruby a bit more, we didn't really want to stay longer than the 13 minutes that we were there, which wasn't much. 
but in all honesty, if there were a supercharger in Fuquay Varina, I probably would stop into the charger and just top Ruby up. And if I happened to be in Cary today or any of the other places where there are chargers and I went past one to help her get caught back up, I would probably stop in and charge her. I really wonder with this rate plan, time of use plan right now, if I were, um, if I were still driving back and forth to downtown Raleigh, I suspect in the winter that, um, I might be popping into the supercharger since Ruby can charge for free and topping her up there more often than I'm currently using the supercharger. That person cut it a little close there and probably shouldn't have pulled out in front of those vehicles. I couldn't pull up all the way to see because they cut it so close. It's just another example of driving and you have to look out for yourself. Anyway, I'm hoping to find some good stuff today. Michelle and I pulled into the parking lot at exactly the same time, yeah. but no near head-on collision. <laughs> oh, what you doing? I got a little candle for our girl in there. Oh, okay. I got stuff for you, though. You do? Oh, You're not I supposed do? to have more stuff for me. I have to. I found a lot of black kitties. Oh, yay. I got a couple things for you. I try to keep something for you. My problem is, is we've been shuffling stuff in and out of Ruby lately and I buried this here and I shoved that over there and <laughs> hopefully I can find it all. Han's <laughs> gonna look up what socket he's missing. He's missing one or two. They've reorganized these tools over here today so you can kind of rummage through them a little better. Michelle's got a great new Michael Myers lounge fly purse. I'll show you in a bit. I'm just taking a peek over here, film a little bit just in case. When we watch the video, Don sees something and he goes, oh, I would have bought that because I, you know, try to figure it out, but don't always know. I've never seen a costume like that. Do you guys know what it is? It It is a tarantula, it, right down to the little like eyeball thingies. I know, so can you put it on a thing and make it a tarantula? <laughs> You're thinking about it. Okay, well, you have to remember Michelle actually has a tarantula pet. Rosie, right? Yeah. Yeah, yep. So, Michelle is so cool. She just put the tarantula costume in the car because that would take up too much room in our in our um, cart. Oh, yeah. But I was going to say, get on the other side of me. They can't see you. You're just a black body shape with the light <laughs> in the background. Michelle showed me a picture of a Model 3 wrap and a Tesla Cybertruck wrap. So she's all rap, you know, knowledgeable yeah, now. Right next, I was right next to them. <laughs> That's a good friend. She saw the red cyber truck we saw in front of the dollar store in Fuquay a few weeks ago. I picked it up because at first I thought it might have said teacher. It says Texas in case you're not seeing it. I love photo letter art words. I just think it's cool. This soap holder is $3 and it's in good shape, but... Um, I just really don't need it. <laughs> but I like it. But I like it. Walked right past it. <laughs> I got too distracted. I don't know. It's nice. It should be buy one, get one free. Oh. It is kind of pricey. but So we need to get another mug today, one of us. Yes, I've got to get it. Oh, yeah, that's like a haunted yes. mansion. Yep. Yes. Up, but, um, I fix that. Yeah, either Sharpie or um, nail polish. And then... Because uh, of Mr. Oogie Boogie died. Uh-huh. Oh, he did? That's a tragedy. Yes, it is. And we have a skeleton of some sort. <laughs> Hello! Some amazing stuff. I just, I don't, I don't, can this just be the kitty? The kitty? But, yeah. No. Um, I think this is a good deal. I'm trying to figure out, is that really only a dollar? Because it's um, 40 sets of... Uh, Halloween paper and envelopes. So card, basically, it's card stock. It's that would, if that's a dollar, I, I maybe I have to take it, even though I don't need it. <laughs> I found some kitty napkins that I'm excited about. Are we finding anything else? We're still looking. We're still looking. This is pretty for vintage. A little heavy, but pretty. Oh my goodness, it's adorable 
and it's three times more than it should be. We've seen a few things today that we passed on because of the price. I'm sure they're just trying to keep up with inflation like everybody else. Pretty nice costumes in here today. Very unique things. I bet this was somebody's recital dress and then turned Halloween costume down. Maybe this one too. It looks, uh, wow, that's pretty. That's very pretty. I still have my recital costumes. Really? Yes. Awesome. My mother saved them and I still have them. I don't know why I still have them, but I still have them. I don't blame you. Look at awesome. all the tiny little longer burger baskets today. It's so cute. Very, very cute. Nice vintage blue glassware here. And uh, Michelle and I are going to light up this piece of milk glass just to see. Johnny was such a fan of John Deere, and we've got the John Deere business in Fuquay, both the uh, turf side and the farm equipment side. They were big sponsors for First Lego League with time for employees to help with robotics and everything. Um, someone's donated a lot of vintage pieces, both these canisters and some prints over in the arts area. I really like this Isod shirt, Donnie, and it's your size, and I'm so tempted. Two weeks in a row I've seen it, but I know it's Auburn colors, so I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it, but I did find you one here. I did. So the ladies came and got me and Michelle and said there was a baby um, loose in the parking lot, a little tiny defenseless kitten. Michelle's headed up to Dr. Cotton and um yeah i need to let her go baby's looking to nurse for mama but baby does not look dehydrated in any way i don't think baby's in trouble no baby's just hungry all right i'm back behind the old uh drugstore and mcdonald's lot here beside guardian angel i don't see any other cats or kittens I can't go into the woods because between the fire ants and the poison ivy, which I can see both, <laughs> I can't do that. But I have really given a good listen and a good stop and watch for movement. And I've opened up a couple of trash cans that didn't smell so good to make sure somebody didn't dump them in there. And Michelle is at the vet and they've taken the kitten back to check it out. I have a really good feeling about kitten being okay. Had white feet and mostly black. I didn't see any white on the face. So I don't know if we can call it a tuxedo or not, maybe. Yeah. I know that I'm not happy with my fellow man. Why can people not find a trash can? The only thing I can think is that maybe Mama hid Kitten in the in an engine compartment and the person took off having no clue that there were cats or kittens in the car and um, that's how Kitten ended up over here. That's the only thing I can think of. And of course I have no prayers chance of finding anyone else if they're up underneath one of these vehicles, but I have certainly... I checked underneath that trailer down there with the now hiring sign. It's empty underneath there. It's got like under side pinning, underpinning, and you can see pretty good. And I was way around over there walking. And I don't see anybody else, which I guess is good. And they know to call me and they know how to get in touch with me if they find somebody else. All right. Because I hear about kittens being found on the side of the road, and I always think badly of people. But you know what? If Mama Cat hides somebody up underneath your car in your garage or your parking lot, and you don't know, and you take off, you know that's not that's not somebody uh, being cruel or anything. That's just the way life is. I forgot to check the mailbox. Um, there's a deer here. Which way is it going to go? Okay, it sort of went the other way. Thought it was going to come across in front of me. But I guess it decided not to do that and to go off into the woods on the other side. See if I can still see. I mean, I saw it go that way. I'm just surprised. Okay, well. It was up here. Oh, there. <laughs> yeah. 
Are you eating my plants? You're not supposed to be eating my plants. That was Ruby's breaks. That wasn't me doing anything I was supposed to do. But I don't eat my plants. If you need a place to bed down for the night and hang out where you won't get hurt, I'm your gal. If you're looking for moist, delectable plants that aren't native, don't eat my stuff. This is one of the gifts from Michelle. And my first thought was, wow, she gave me a Cybertruck pillow. But I'm trying to see if it's a diamond pillow, a Cybertruck pillow, or potentially both. <laughs> it's really cute. And this is um, a, the ba that ba Vans bag and this alien bag are from her. I haven't checked out what's in here yet. It's Izod and everything. I think I showed it in the store, but I just real I really like it. We even found the tag had been pulled off, but the little plastic thing for the tag was still on it. it it's not been washed. It's it's not been worn. So, yep. yeah, you can go hang it. You can go hang it up now. Yeah, I got this pumpkin. Pumpkins fall hayride cider harvest blessings pumpkin for two fifty. I got a pair of really heavy duty lined black leggings for walks on the trail in the winter this nifty black cat mug these um christmas gnomes see no evil hear no evil speak no evil have no fun michelle put that in my cart and let's see michelle and i got don this cat lovers pad a hundred sheets of cats 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 and each page has a has a different cat on it um, it's just notebook paper for Don to take notes on. We thought he would love to have a cat on every piece of paper. <laughs> I got these napkins at Guardian Angel. Uh, so I think it was a dollar, two dollars. This one was marked four. Yeah. Um, but I did get Michelle a um, mummy mug that I didn't um, have time to give her. And then all this paper... And this other stuff. This cute little kitty. I think this is my favorite thing of the stuff from Michelle. And the thing for my purse. And a very cool moon kitty thing. And then kitty, kitty, kitty. And a Spock rubber ducky. So. Anyway. There's today's finds. Hopefully these are going to be comfortable and warm on the trail this winter. They, they have great potential. 